so I did not expect that one. Um, my computer inevitably crashed. Great, great computer. That was not expected of any time, but apparently just like, boom, crash. I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, just a little bit frustrated. Not even gonna deny people, I'm just a little bit frustrated, but... Anyways, so... I'm going to... Is nothing like moving right now? There we go. Wait, what are you? In my sh troops. Okay, I'll let it finish its earlier mission, but yeah. We're just about to declare war on the French. Oh, not the French. The, uh. Uh, no. And let's see. Okay. So, we were just about to. Yeah, we were just. We were just about to declare war on the uh, mighty British Empire although we did declare war on the British Empire but then we crashed and so we're gonna have to deal with that now so alright I think I'm I think I'm ready though there is one more army that I should probably group up into one gigantic stack hmm should I go pick that army up? probably Cause I don't, I, I'm pretty sure the Ottomans are probably gonna occupy everything, so I won't be able to do anything once I get this all underneath my control. So what I think I might do right now, cause I still got, how much time do I have before I have to really, October 27th, okay. Um, I'm going to transfer all my troops, my major troops, at least this major troop, all the way to this side, and... I think it's better if we just transfer all of our troops over here, because I think I'll use my other, the 33 stack to uh, have until October 27th. I'm, I'm just going to October 20th, so I realize this, but I think I'm going to keep all my troops right here, keep two of my armies down here, and then one of my armies up there. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a lot of troops over here that are going to spawn. Um, right. France, are you guys still at war? Dang it. Okay, so they ended their war with the uh, mighty, with the mighty empire of Britain prematurely, I think. So that kind of stinks right there. So this is going to be uh, almost entirely solo. I I'm starting to like this less and less. This is going to be an entirely solo effort here. Um, use the pressure act, whatever. Use whatever you have to. I'll move this army down here to go take over this, and I'm. If you guys are wondering, I'm basically accepting that my colonies are going to fall. It's most likely going to happen. And I'm also going to build, if I can, a little bit more troops down here. Recruitment, let's see. What do we already have in this stack? Uh, a little bit more. If we build a little bit more cannons. Oh wait, a little bit more cannons and a little bit more troops. Not irregulars. There we go. Yeah, if we build a little bit more troops and just keep these guys a little bit more powerful, that'd be nice. Okay, and anything else we need to make sure, because I don't want to, I'm going, I don't want to go into speed maturely, but I really don't, I, there's not going to be a better chance, basically is all I'm saying, is that I don't, we don't really have the best of options. I don't know why this fleet is so like, maybe that's the reason? Okay. Yeah, wow, what? Okay, so for some reason that was like causing a big difference in the amount of stuff it was gonna do. I find that completely stupid, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. Let's just move our soldiers into position. Okay. No one's gonna join in, I already know this. But I'm gonna try to free Bulgaria. Unlike what I said, yeah, Russia impossible because of the mighty, the mighty empire of the Brits being jerks. Let's see, we can form an alliance with somebody else. Maybe, maybe the uh, North Germanic Federation would be a good help. Let's see, who is the second most powerful militaristically? Huh, the USA. But, great, they're pretty close. Can we get them on our side in the amount of time? Uh, no, we cannot. Basically, it's whoever's on hand right now. No. Yes. Okay, well, let's get you guys on hand. Uh, USA. No, they hate me. <laughs> and 
and then Great Britain, no. Okay, so United Kingdom is all on board. I got the most allies I could. I'm going to try to free... Um... No, we could try to free Serbia just as a kindness to them. Plus, it'd be easy war score. Now, I'm probably going to be mostly occupying Bulgaria, so I'll probably just free this side. So, okay, let me just give it a little bit so that I get that alliance with France. Uh, likely. Come on, France. Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me! Yes! Russia joined in! Oh, yeah! Mmm. Alright, so now we got a big, gigantic power on our sides. Okay, this is good. This is good. So, if we have a big, gigantic power on our sides, that means we have a much... I, I would say a much likelier chance that we're gonna win this. The only problem is, is that is let's just destroy this big army right here so we make sure that we teach the uh, Ottoman Empire a good lesson start moving in our troops already we'll first go right here then go right here no go right there then go right there no go right there then go right there no then go right there then go right there there we go <laughs> it's like almost a dance right there it's, then go right there then go right there then go right there then go right there Okay, so we are completely by whatever standards outnumbered, but we just have to wait till the Russians crush everything. That's basically the strategy here. Um, most of our men are going to be a basically little help. I already realize this. Uh, we got attacked. Okay. The rebel, the liberals had to be like trying to change social political policy while I'm trying to war, don't they? This is not the perfect time for you guys to be doing your political views. I'm just going to say that now. It really is not. Okay. I really prefer if you guys just kept it all to yourself so we can all relax. Okay. What? Stop moving. Okay. I'm going to slow down time. And let's see. Russia should be moving in a little bit over here. Um. Yeah, I expected England to be doing that. Um. My troops should be just relaxing. Jeez, you guys really have to accumulate rebels right when I don't need you to. Is there any other powerful rebels we have to deal with? No. The rest of them are more smallish armies, which is what I expected. Okay. Go crush these guys over here so that we can keep that army out of this war. Yeah, go crush that uh, spawn. I think it's a spawned army. Okay. Go bring a bigger guns in. Okay. Alright, go right here, so we can keep that. We're fighting our own little mini wars over here, with our own inter interpolitical war, with all of our troops being jerks. So let's go just combine with this army right here. It's going to be the one that's going to free all my men again, get back under control of my country, because I can't, you can't go anywhere without having rebels, that's all I gotta say. So, also, by the way, I should mention right now, if I become unfunny, or if I become really, like, stoic and really, really, like, sappy, it's because the wars usually sap a lot of out of me. Like, they are probably the one reason, <laughs> one reason not to watch my channel is because I focus hyperly. This is, wars are usually where I focus and usually don't like to mess around, because I don't like to lose wars at all. So, yeah, if, if you guys are ever wondering why I'm not really that funny, or if I'm not really trying to be entertaining, it's because I am insanely focused right now. Insanely. Let's see, you're going to Bullford? Because if you go to Bullford, that'd be the greatest... No, you won't. Okay, we're going to meet you in Colia. Okay, we're all going to charge you in right there, then. Uh, my troops should be able to deal with it, but just to make sure, I'm going to have two troops. There we go. Request them. Request the biggest Ottoman army. Go right here. Have half of my army go right there. And more Greco Archer liberals, of course. Let's see. How's my troops? I know I shouldn't be worried about. Holy moly. Okay. Uh, shoot. Uh, this is not good. Let's go crush these guys right here. Okay, let's go see if we can go save these guys before I die. Ooh. Ooh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I'll be able to save those guys. They're, they're too long gone. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, so my people finally got this underneath our control. Let's see. All right. All right. We're finally getting this all underneath. All underneath way. It's just going to take us a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Go right here. Right, we got two armies down here, making sure that we don't, like, do anything. Alright, we got all the political uprest done with. Now we can start conquesting again. Good. Okay. Russia right now is insanely helping us out with this massive siege of epic proportion, which is good. Weights, whatever. Residency, whatever. Okay, let's just get right here. Just keep let's just go combine our efforts combine let's just get that done with great war experience experience okay we just destroyed that army right there now we're conquering all this land over here <laughs> we should be able to lose all this land in a very short amount of time but we want to make sure that Russia conquers everything over on this side first so that we make sure that we own it and that way that we can, because we do want to add that one world goal we want to get. Because if you guys remember, the whole reason why we're doing this is that we want to gain the capital. And honestly, I think I might resave it if I really don't gain it. Because this is, I personally, I believe that the requirements to kind of gain the capital are kind of BS. Because you should, if on all, all honesty, if you have a core on that capital, you should be allowed to go take the capital. And damning, I think that's a battle in... Uh, uh, other place so yeah that was pretty sad to hear about that they lost um let me just wait until they wait until cook Kai has fallen there we go go conquer kick all these stupid little Ottoman troops out of here there we go get all this land right here and we'll just start casually conquering this yeah, we're just gonna casually move down with the uh, Russian Empire move us troop back here so that we make sure we get this we're going to we're going to destroy these guys but we need to make sure that we do it in a logical fashion the war is not going good enough i know this is going to be a pretty intense war go right here crush all these little tiny spawn troops i don't know the anti-military movement will not succeed in my country if there's anything i know that will not succeed okay so they're rapidly destroying all of my troops all my colony troops excuse me people all my colony troops down there most of my colonies have lost over here. I'm going to go dock up these guys so they don't die. Uh, they have not tried to invade any of my Philippines or any of those holdings. Good thing though is Russia has most of its army over here. So if they do try to do any like weird invasion stuff, I think I have enough army to fight them. Okay. And we're bringing... Excellent. We're bringing our men back to kind of reconquer all this over here. And there we go. Blood and Conquest! Ha 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 ha! I love that event. Let's go right here. Get all these men grouped up. Go right here. Um, Russia is casually moving downwards. We have almost occupied most of the known Greek menace threat. Uh, we finally have control over the ulcers, which is good. Because that means I don't... I, be I do believe they, they don't have control of it anymore, so we can just go in and go conquer what we need to all right which is good all right we're gonna try to not though because I want to make sure that Russia conquers everything else before it conquers this maybe getting some war some war exterior would help okay let's get this all underneath our control ladies and gentlemen we're gonna adapt Jacobson rebels let's reopen all right uh, any big threat? No. Jackson Rebel is not a big threat. And if they do spawn, I hope they spawn in the British land. Okay, so there's massive British armies over here. I can already see them, so we're not going to move in any further. Because I do believe we're going to get our butt whooped if we do. Uh, looks like, yeah, see Russia has a big gigantic army here too, so. Um, I'm just going to keep my army back. And we're just going to casually come back to, uh, raiding all this place over here. Okay, let's see. When we're just casually conquering all this over here. That's going to be our goal. Because we don't we don't need to be the main fighter with the British Empire right now. We don't. And their army should, since they have access to Egypt, should be moving directly towards the next big place. Which should be ours. 
we're just going to be casually be conquering all of this land now that we've lost most of our colonies. Ooh, which isn't exactly the greatest thing in the world, but it's it's those those things happen. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Go right here, go right here. Alright. Just gonna casually move down the list of things. Just keep moving down. There we go. Move down here, move down here, move down here. Yeah, we're moving through this country pretty quickly. It's not even like an extension of a worry. Just rapidly destroying whatever forces they have. Huh. You guys finished, you guys finished, you guys finished. Just keep moving down. Keep moving down. That's all you guys have to do. Rapidly destroying all the land over here. And now we got Liberation because Belai completely occupied. So now we have now we have what we need. So if we ever need something, we have what we need. Um, the Russian Empire is almost done with their conquest of what they of what I want, which is good. Okay, I'm gonna move down here. So now we just have to wait for my ability to add the war conquest, and we'd be all good. Okay, because I basically the Ottomans have now been completely, completely occupied down to head to toe. No land is theirs anymore. I'm gonna go have this army go down here, then go down here, then go down here. Quest the rest of this, all these little tiny pretender states, so that we can get them out of our land because I don't like them in our land. Can get them out of our land. Okay, you guys are all good. You guys are all good. Okay, please go help the police men. Okay, and stock market. Yeah. Just get that and then go right here. Okay. Go right there and we're almost there. Oh, by the way guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time when we finish the war and hopefully I will get something good out of this. So see you guys next time.